Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. So, we're back again. If this is your first video seeing of mine, hello. I was gone for five months, but I'm back on YouTube. I'm back. We're making the coin again. And today's video, we have a really special video plan for you guys. I have a special video plan for you guys. There's no we. It's just me. Um, we're gonna we're gonna be going back to makeup. We're going back to makeup, which is exciting. I haven't done a makeup video in about actually more than five months because I've been gone from YouTube for five months. But my last makeup video was, I think, September of last year. So a good solid nine months without making a makeup video, which unacceptable, not okay, not good under any circumstances. And I've tried a lot of makeup in the time that I was away. I mean, I have a whole array of brand new products. I have a whole new look that I do. So I'm definitely going to be up doing an updated makeup routine video very, very soon. But for today's video, I did want to try out... Could I call it a controversial? I would say a pretty controversial product right now on the market, just given all of the attention it's been receiving and given all of the attention it's been getting. Today, we're going to be doing a review and a first impressions discussion on the Jones Road What is the Foundation. So this is a moisture balm. This is a tinted moisture balm that is the best way to describe this specific product. And it's gotten a lot of attention. It's gotten a lot of talking it's gotten a lot of conversation started it's gotten a lot of scandals as well from certain people who have abused yes i'm gonna use the a word abused this product this is the one i have i have the shade medium honey and medium honey yes i have the shade medium honey and i got it at credo which by the way shout out to the ladies at the credo on third street here in la they are amazing they are incredible. They really helped me out in finding the perfect shade from this specific foundation. When I went into the store yesterday, I made a beeline straight for Jones Road. And they're like, you want the foundation, don't you? And I'm just like, you know I do. <laughs> you know I do. And they helped me out. They shade matched me there. And they found the perfect shade for me. It's a little bit darker. But since this foundation is a very, very sheer coverage, I don't think that should be much of an issue. I did try the shade medium as well. However, I felt like the shade medium just left a white cast on me. And it didn't really blend out really nicely. So she said, you know, you can match both. You can combine both of them and blend them. Or you can take the medium honey it is a safer option. So I was like, let me take the medium honey for now. If I feel like it's a little too dark, we're going to get the medium as well. And we'll just make our own concoction anytime we want to wear the specific foundation. But anyways, yes. What the foundation? Got a lot of attention. People don't know how to use it. People are confused. People are conflicted. People don't really know <laughs> what to think of the specific foundation because it's so different than anything on the market really i mean obviously right now the trend is the natural beauty and jones road as a brand itself exudes like natural beauty but however the way they exude natural beauty it's that it's truly truly natural i mean you don't look like you have anything on it it's just full-on natural makeup no added effects no added filters it is your skin and breathable but better and i i'm not gonna lie i have tried some of the other jones road products and i'm gonna be using them here in the video today but this is the start of the video for today and i've done my skincare however i have not done moisturizer and here's why i'm not gonna do moisturizer and you might be wondering yourself well, why aren't you going to do moisturizer? I'm not going to do any moisturizer and I'm not going to do any primer because the ladies at Credo told me that since I do get oily in my T-zone, especially in the much more humid and hotter weather that we get here in California, um, I don't need a moisturizer. This is a very, very emollient and hydrating product. Plus, it's blended with a lot of oils as well. So usually... I will do moisturizer, then I'll do primer, then I'll do a foundation. With this, I'm not even going to do moisturizer. I'm not even going to do a primer. I'm just going to do this because I did test it out on my hand um, yesterday. And it is a very hydrating foundation. Super hydrating. It does have a specific... Let me just open it up. Y'all just want me to shut up and try it. <laughs> let me just do that. But this is what it looks like when it's open. Looks really nice. It's really shiny. It does have a specific fragrance to it, however, I think that's just the natural ingredients of it. But, when I did open it, there was like this little puddle of oil here, which is completely normal. Because this foundation has a lot of oils to it, since it's supposed to be very hydrating, very emollient, and very moisturizing. It is technically a tinted moisturizer, but very, very sheer. And so, we're going to try it out. We're going to put it to the test. Let's do this. We've got everything ready, and I'm going to do a super, super, super minimal makeup look today. I mean, you're, I'm going to look the same afterwards. I'm going to look the same, so let's get to it. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take 
product from right here, which I think that's more than enough for like two whole faces. And I'm going to use, I'm gonna use my Chanel foundation brush. This is the shade, this is the, the shade. I haven't done this in a while. This is the Chanel foundation brush in number 100. It's really good for cream and liquid foundations. And I personally do love this brush so, so much because it just blends everything so beautifully and it looks stunning on the skin. I tried it with my Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer, which I do need to do a video on that as well, and it just blended it out beautifully. Just a teeny weeny bit, or should I just, should I just scoop up the whole thing on my hands and just see what happens? <laughs> should I just do that? Let me just put this here, and this is how much product I have. So let's see this blend it out. Oh yeah, I think that's a better shade than medium. And I actually think this is gonna be more than enough. Oh yeah, this is like more than enough for the whole face. It looks lighter, but trust the process. Just trust the process. The medium one looked even more lighter than this. But yeah, I like, I really like how this is blending out with this specific brush. Oh yeah, this is like more than enough for the whole face. Let me just try to drag it here to this side. Oh. Instead of trying to work it in, I just want to blend it all back. Oh, focus camera, focus. And just... Yeah, this is a very moisturizing formula, and I see why they say that you don't really need any moisturizer or primer afterwards, but as you can see, it looks like nothing. It looks like nothing. I just have to pat it in a little more. Let me just drag it down a little bit. And a little went a long way. I mean, there you go. It just, it looks like me. <laughs> it looks like me. I just look like I just put a moisturizer on. And it is a little bit lighter. But however, the medium was even more lighter. I mean, it left a really, really profound white cast. And let me take you to better lighting. We're taking you back to better lighting so you can see this product. So this is with better lighting, as you can see. It looks the same. Like, it just looks like my face. Looks like my face, but a lot more dewy. However, with the light reflecting over me, I do like how it just almost cancels out, like, the lines I have here on my forehead, which, yes, I know I need to go do Botox. <sighs> this year. This year. We're doing it this year. But, yeah, as you can see, it just... It just looks like my face, which I love. This is what I love. And now I'm going to add the other Jones Road products I have onto my face. We'll see what it all looks like. Okay, so I transitioned to my phone just because my camera battery was already dying on me. But I'm seeing right now, as you can see, it's super, super shiny because all of the oils it has. And my face is already oily on its own. There we go. This is better lighting right here. But yeah, it just looks like my face. It looks like my face. And now I do want to add the other Jones Road products I have to my skin just so you guys can see how it's going to look. It, everything is just going to be evened out. Like, it's not going to look like I have a crazy amount of foundation or a crazy amount of makeup. It's just going to look evened out. So let's do that right now. All of the newness I have that I've been accumulating over the past five months, because let me tell you, I might have been away from the internet and I might have been away from YouTube, but I definitely was not away from my bank account <laughs> and using it to buy all the stuff I wanted. So let me just look for it. Yeah, so I do have the Jones Road Face Pencil in the shade 14, which is a lot significantly more lighter than my skin tone. However, it's really good for concealer. And I do also have their Shimmer Face Oil, which I'm going to use as a highlighter. And then I might dip into the Rare Beauty bronzer just for like the lightest, lightest bronzer imaginable. And I think that's it. I have the Jones Road Sparkle Wash as well, which is amazing. I love it. It just leaves this like, it looks like chunky glitters when you see it from up front. But from like afar or like when you take pictures, oh my god, the shine is amazing. So I think I'm just going to do that and Westman Atelier brow pencil and that's going to be my face for the day. So let me show you. This is the face pencil right here. And this is a product that first intrigued me to the brand. As you can see, I love it a lot. I love it so much and it's an actual pencil. So this is what I'll normally do. I'll just like add it here here a little bit here and then here and then i just blend it with my fingers and the beauty about this face pencil is that it does have a clear base so even if it is a little lighter than your normal skin tone as bobby brown would say it is forgiving 
because of the clear base. And also since I think the way she formulated the foundation to go with this face pencil is quite genius just because this face pencil is a little drying if your face is not moisturized enough and if you don't use an eye cream it can drag a little bit and the beauty about this foundation is that it is very emollient and it is very moisturizing so when you do put this face pencil on top of it it just looks really good it looks great and it just blends out seamlessly and as you can see with my finger this blended out seamlessly now i'm just going to do the other part That's with the face pencil and the What The Foundation. I just dropped the pen. So that is what my face looks with the face pencil and the What The Foundation. It looks really nice. It looks really nice, however, I am gonna kick it up a little notch and I am gonna do like the very, very smallest amount of bronzer. And I mean like the sheerest amount. They do have their own bronzer-esque kind of product called the Miracle Balm, which that one I am a little just iffy about trying out. I don't know if I really wanna try it out just because I tried it out in the store. It is a super, if I thought this was emollient, that Miracle Bomb is even more <laughs> emollient. And I feel like it even it would leave me an even more like greasy shine kind of deal. So I don't really want that. Look, this is how much bronzer I'm gonna do. One, two, that's it. Wait, I lied, three. <laughs> I'm just gonna do three little dots and that's all I'm gonna do for bronzer. I don't wanna do any more. Like I just want to warm up the face in the slightest amount, like just ever so slightly. And it does allow, this foundation is pretty forgiving in the sense that it does allow everything to just blend out smoothly, which I love. We're gonna do the same. One, two, three, and that's about it. Where's the cap? Rare Beauty Bronzer, I love it through and through. It deserves an Oscar. That's how great this bronzer is. And there we go for bronzer. Oh, I dropped it. Then we're gonna do the Shimmer Face Oil from Jones Road as well. And this Shimmer Face Oil, I used it underneath the foundation before. It left a little bit of a white cast just because it is this like rose gold shimmer and they do have a golden Shimmer Face Oil. So if I do wanna use this under foundation for that lit from within look, I might get the gold one, but I do love using this. It's just like a highlighter in its own. It's really nice and I just take the smallest of dots. I mean, oh, that's a, that's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot, that's a lot. Even just for like the both sides of the cheeks, but I'm gonna try to finesse it. And oh, I just love this. I love this. And I sometimes do this on the eyelids as well. If I wanted to just match and blend, but I'm going for like a natural, natural, very natural makeup look today. We're gonna do a little bit of the excess because I put a little too much there. And there we go. Now I'm just gonna do my brows off camera and we'll be right back. All right, so brows are done. They're set, I did them off camera and I put everything else on my face and sticking true to the Jones Road philosophy. If there's even a word to say it, um, I decided not to do any setting powder or any setting spray. I'm just gonna let this breathe and just let this be. <laughs> Just like everything in my life the last five months, I'm just gonna let it be. But overall, I can't lie to you guys. I do like this foundation already. I do like it. And I'm not just saying that to convince myself to like it. I generally do mean that I do like this foundation and I like how it looks on my face and I like how it's sitting on my face so far, even though it is a very emollient, shiny kind of foundation. And it did even me out. I mean, I match my my chest even though I never show no never show she's a conservative girl <laughs> but anyways uh, I'm gonna test it out for the rest of the night it is about 5 p.m. right now and I might come back in a few hours give you guys a final update on my camera and let you guys know what I think about this foundation before I take it off all right so it's been about an hour and I will say this I'm gonna be completely honest here it is a little bit tacky so the foundation is still a little bit tacky even after an hour but I believe the reasoning for that is because I didn't do any setting powder. I didn't do any setting spray. I didn't do anything. I literally just did what the foundation, face pencil, bronzer, shimmer face oil, and brow pencil. That's all I did to my face. So I didn't really do anything to set it because I felt like I didn't need to set it. And plus I also wanted this review to be true to the product. But at the same time, I should have done what I normally do with every foundation and done the powder too. 
And I was looking through Jones Road's Instagram stories, and even they're like, if you have oily skin, feel free to powder as well. So I'm just like, I should have done it. I should have done it. But it's holding up really nicely. I'm not going to lie. It looks really nice, and I feel like it just blended everything out really nice. So I'll catch up in a little bit. Okay, so it's been about seven hours since I put the Jones Road foundation on, the what the foundation on, and I'm shiny. But... I knew I was gonna be shiny because this is that type of foundation. However, I can't deny this and I can't lie to you guys. And look, I would be truthful and honest with you if I did not like it. I really do like it. I really do like it and here's the thing, because spe specifically with my shininess, with any foundation I use, I will always get shiny here in this area and the foundation will break apart in this area. However, let me zoom in really close. So, since this foundation is super, super sheer, at least I can't really tell any of the breakage, even from afar, even from up close, which is something different. It's something that none of my other foundations do. And then the other thing is that it does what it says it's going to do. And that is that it is gonna even out the skin tone. It is gonna even out the skin tone and it does that beautifully. Like my skin tone is even, it looks proportionate and it even matches like my chest and a little bit of my neck as well, which I love and just like my skin looks good. And yes, it's shiny, yes, it's oily, but it doesn't look disgustingly shiny or oily. Like, yeah, you can see the shine poking through everywhere, but it just, it looks like this luminous, lit from within kind of shine. And yeah, I know you're calling me crazy and you're like, girl, that's oily, but no, you got to like embrace the beauty of this brand. You have to really know what this brand is all about in order to really embrace the beauty that they're trying to deliver here with their brand. And I absolutely love it. I do love it, however, I will say, I did make the mistake of not adding setting powder on top of it, and I thought I didn't have to add setting powder, and well, well, I'm like, so I knew it was supposed to add setting powder because I was like, I'm gonna get shiny with this, but I did want to test out the foundation for what it was before I even thought of putting on setting powder, so what I'm gonna do is tomorrow, I'm gonna wear it again using setting powder. However, for that content, you can go onto my TikTok and find out what it looks like. <laughs> find out what it looks like on my TikTok because I'm planning on doing a TikTok video as well about this foundation. But this is my long form first impressions review. And first impressions, I do like it. In fact, I've been looking for a foundation just like this on the market for a very, very long time. And look, the kind of foundations I use are sheer. I use Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer super sheer foundation however it's not sheer enough because it does cover up to some degree the chanel le beige or the tone that one is like a super sheer foundation however it does have some kind of coverage to it and then i also use the rare beauty tinted moisturizer which if i'm being honest is a little too light for my liking to be a tinted moisturizer in terms of a texture like it's a little bit too thick sorry it's a little too thick no 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 the other way around <laughs> i'm going the other way it's too light and liquidy consistency in order for me to consider it a tinted moisturizer this for me i feel is a tinted moisturizer because with the rare beauty one i don't necessarily feel my skin being moisturized with it however with the jones road one i felt this moisture in my skin when i put it on with the brush which I thoroughly enjoyed and which I really did love and then I have my La Mer the soft moisture powder which is like my all-time favorite it will forever be my favorite and that one has coverage that one has coverage and it looks beautiful but it has that kind of coverage where it just perfects the skin and this one is so sheer but it still perfects the skin which I absolutely love so on the first impressions I like it I'm definitely going to continue to wear it and I feel like the Jones Road Beauty Routine with this and the face pencil is immaculate and it's incredible and I absolutely love it. Now this 
for now it's my seal of approval i definitely still do want to use it with a setting powder so go to my tiktok if you want to see me use this again with a setting powder and this right here the face pencil i absolutely love i mean i love this face pencil so much i literally got the jones road sharpener to sharpen this pencil and i absolutely love this combo it's just incredible and it's just amazing and if you're the kind of person that likes the makeup that i like which is like supernatural your skin but better like everyday wear i think you're generally gonna love this because you know truthfully this foundation is not for the girls and the guys that love a full beat like this isn't for the people that love like a thick opaque full coverage foundation thick full coverage concealer extreme highlight extreme bronzer extreme blush like really colorful insane eyeshadow that looks beautiful a bold lip stuff like that like this is not the foundation for those people this is not the foundation for the people who want to look good in the club this is the foundation for the girls and the guys that want to look good to go to air one or to go to trader joe's or to go to whole foods or even to go to the farmer's market or the flea market this is that kind of foundation this is the foundation you would wear if you want to have a nice day out in malibu and then go to dinner at john and vinnie's in brentwood this is that kind of foundation and i want to be that vibe i want to wear this to go to air one i want to have dinner in john and vinnie's with this this is why i like it anyways that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure to give it a massive thumbs up if you've tried any of the jones Road products or this specific foundation let me know your thoughts and opinions i would deeply appreciate it and if you're new here hello welcome i hope you subscribe and stick around it would mean the world to me i've got a lot of fun things planned i've got an album review coming up next so get excited for that and i will see you next time for another video goodbye